Okay. Alright, up YouTube. Let's start cutting this uh, garbage white pipe that I made. Uh, you know, reuse the DC, but you know, the main uh, mile steel is all rotting out. I'm gonna cut right here, cut from there too, and cut around this area. So I'm gonna be doing right now to make everything all stainless steel. The stainless steel doesn't look like it's it rotted out as bad as the mile steel. All right, let's just cut these flanges off. I'm gonna reuse these. And here, here's they, how they look right now. Just put like maybe, maybe 100, 200 miles on the tip around with boosted up to eight pounds. It's like this shit looks nasty. All right, let's inside. The, all the wells I did on this crap. I'm pretty surprised how nasty this shit got. Just running it for um, a little bit and just got nasty. Oh, well, I ran it like, for a week with four pounds. Maybe that's one of the reasons too, but oh, damn. But the eight pounds got hotter. Much hotter. So you can see it. Oh, second. You can see in here how it looks like it's bubbling up right there. All right, let me just go grab the flanges. I'm not. I don't feel like buying new ones. I'm pretty sure it's just stick steel, anyways. And uh, just weld this up to it. Make it uh, probably grind it down, make it more flush. Just weld it. These are uh, two, two and a quarter. So better, maybe a little better airflow, but I'm not 100 percent sure. And uh, it's, it's raining out. I only, only came here to help my buddy out for a second. Maybe tomorrow uh, I can start wilding all this fun stuff. So I'm keeping this and this and throw this away. It's no good no more. Uh, now I'm trying to see if I can make a white pipe. I'm pretty sure I can. But well, let's see what we can do. Right now, I'm trying to smooth this out so the pipe can be more flush. That's not 100%. Uh, great, but it's better than why I just cut it. Try to smooth it out. I right, got five here, five over here. I'm gonna start welding. Tech, I'm just gonna tag these for now and then figure out how she's gonna plan it out. Uh, I'm just gonna attack them right now. Alright, guys, I put the flange back on. They're not tight, the bolts on both front and rear. Think about putting this one right here. But I might have to put a little space to it, maybe like an inch or so. And this one over here, I definitely wanna go a bit lower. I gotta measure that out. But not too shabby. Um, do this. It'd probably go over here. Not too tight. And then route it over here some way. And somehow. I'm going to measure this right now. I'm going to see how of a big of a drop. So I should uh, do it. I'm going to make a couple more pie cuts to, you know, just in case. Because I'm pretty sure I probably have another 90 degree bend here for the rear. So uh, that's what I'll be doing. To do a couple more bike pipe cuts and probably just start welding these together. Alright guys. And senoritas, if there's any. Um I I'll weld it. Not well, I just tacked this straight pipe. Uh, this is like a five inch. Then I used the pipe cuts I um, made earlier. I made five of them. I uh, just used the two right here. I'm trying to figure a way, any way I can to merge these two. Um, but I just don't want to be lower than the frame because if I want to lower the car even more, I don't want to be much lower than that. And this is what. I'll be doing right here. I mean, the 
yellow marks. Uh, let's see. Whoa. Takes me a second. Something like that. Then probably do a 90 degree right here. Around this area, show over here, and then then probably do the same thing. Go over here, shoot up. Uh, right now, um, I'll be wild in this area because I like how it is right there anyways. I just tacked it for now. And, um, uh, it's just taking me a little longer to do, but no big deal. So that's what I'll be doing. I'm just going to wild all this together. And I'll show you the, uh, the results in a second. All right, got this thing welded up together. Not a bad looking job. And I'll set the C, R, D. These look ugly as hell, but it is what it is. Um, that's how the, uh, the new one I made versus this ugly uh, PC one I used. Um, I just need to uh, get some acetone. I'll come back tomorrow in the morning and start fucking walling the, the whole thing. Hopefully I get it done tomorrow and probably start with the downpipe too. All right, the next day, um, right here. This is what I'm thinking of. Right now I'm gonna do the white pipe. I'm gonna do five inches on both sides. Now if I make the white pipe good, I'm gonna start doing this side. And uh, let's go from there now. I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna start cleaning those five inch, uh, five inch uh, straight pipes, the two inch. And then I can figure out a way to merge them to the two and a half. Alright guys, uh, here's my two and a half. I did three inches. And over here, kind of ghetto. Uh, I, I marked it at two, I mean one and a half because these are two. One and a, uh, one, not one and a half, uh, one and a quarter. So one and a quarter plus one and a quarter equals two and a half. Then I just made it just angle. It's kind of ghetto. It's not hundred percent perfect, but I'll make it work. So that's how she's gonna look. Basically, I just I don't know. You kind of see the shitty sketch I did right here and here. I'm trying to look at videos and other people how they did it. They don't see the degrees. I just I just wang it. <laughs> Uh, it looks kind of kind of ghetto, but gotta do what you gotta do, right? Now I'm gonna clean all this stuff and make it nice and smooth, and clean it and start tacking it and see how she looks. And then let's see how she compares to this style here, because I try to measure it. The degrees here is like 75 degrees. Oh, but whatever. Uh, let's go clean this up right now. All right, that's how my crappy weld looks. In the middle, and how she looks in the inside. Now, I'm gonna grab the two and a half. Probably squash it a little bit, and then tap it in. So uh, that's what I'll be doing. But I'm gonna grab a hammer and just, or go on the vise and squeeze it till. It goes in uh, straight. All right, uh, I'm gonna do some pie cuts. Um, something like this around this area. So I have to probably cut a little bit of the straight pep here and get the 90 degree bend. Somewhere close to it. Oh, I think I'm gonna have this one goes to this one, the short one, then this longer one go here. So then make a couple more pie cuts. Hopefully everything goes good. Just winging it, guys. I know I'm horrible. Let's see, yeah, something like that. I just gotta make it more closer to to each other. And uh, start tacking this and then uh, do some more pipe cuts. Alright, so that's how the pipe kind of sticks out a little bit, but it's not nothing much I can do. 
Alright, I know, guys, I kind of skipped a little bit for you. i uh, like, I'm in the zone. Get the fuck out of my way. <laughs> um, I put a two and a half straight pipe right here. Then I get the 90 degree bend, the pipe cuts. Then I add this one. Uh, then that's how she looks right now. I actually like the, how it is. There's enough space right here. Uh, so it ain't gonna rub. Hopefully it doesn't rub the um, heat wrap. It's not too close to the starter. That was, I was kind of my little concern. And then, uh, let's move this over here. And then, it's not a bad position right here. So we're gonna probably do a 90 de degree bend right here. And shoot up right now. Let's get this motherfucker right here. Um, I'm gonna do a couple more pike cuts right now, and then see if I can shoot it right here. Just some, just some way right here. Just shoot it right here. The nice little turn. I'm gonna do a couple more pike cuts right now. Uh, let's see. And then I'm, probably, I'm gonna weld this up to it right now. I'm gonna weld this up. Do a little update right now. And let's see what, how she goes. Yeah, I'm just gonna weld all these. Whatever I need to weld. Weld that pipe. And um, yeah, let's go from there. And do some more pipe cuts and weld all that crap. All right, guys. I know these are not the greatest in the world, but I just want to make it work. I mean, it, she's solid, so I can start welding this. And then start doing some pipe cuts for the two and a half inch to go up for the turbo uh, looks like a better not too it hangs a little bit nothing crazy and uh, still have room for the heat wrap to go around it uh, let's see what else uh, that's pretty much it hopefully this flows better and then the heat wrap then I need to figure out the O2 sensors. I need to figure out where the hell I'm gonna put those at. So, I'm gonna start on this thing together. All right, I'm gonna call it quits for today. But, we, we made some progress. At least this part is done. Uh, yeah, forgive me with my shitty welds. They're shitty. But, these are bigger pipes versus the, the ones I had on. Yeah, I'm just, I just winged the white pipe. I just like, fuck it. Listen, let's wing it. Because I've been looking on, on everywhere. YouTube, fucking online. See how people um, customize their own white pipe. But fuck it. I know, guys. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, let's see. I don't know if I can pop them. Yeah, the, uh, I don't feel like doing it. So, next weekend, hopefully... Let's get this fucking turtle back onto this piece of shit. All right. I hope you guys enjoy. I didn't film all that crap. You guys want to know how I, I build this bullshit. Uh, yeah, look at the, my older view, videos when I start doing it. But the people who uh, follow me since day one, you know, uh, you know how I, how I do this shit already. So uh, I'm going to call it quiz. I'm going to clean up. Uh, push the car back into woods. A little special area. And uh, pray this bitch is gonna be running soon. And uh, have a day, stay, night, weekend where you guys are from. S uh, drive safe and stay dirty.